Grace is another Christmas class for Toy Story. Yay! Amazing! Grace is another Christmas class for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is another Christmas class for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Bruce and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of Fasma toys. Yes, we do. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring person's Fasma toy story. And so for today, we have this wonderful, wonderful and fascinating toy from Jollibee. It's a vintage toy and it's actually very old. Now this is very special because it was actually given by our friendly store owner in Manila Bulletin. So I was having my breakfast there, was trying to buy some cookies or at least Danish cookies and probably a cup of coffee when uh, I was ordered by Ati Edna and then she told me that um, since uh, the grandson is no longer taking notice of this particular toy and uh, she decided to give it to me. Isn't this great? I, I think that's very nice of her and very generous of her to actually think of me by giving this wonderful, wonderful toy with the uh, under the sea theme. Okay, but this time we have Yum here playing around with some of the sea creatures here. So basically, uh, these set of toys, uh, these uh, set of toys from Jollibee are actually themed um, under the sea and uh, basically this part of the toy would uh, most likely have waters here and then uh, some of the fishes or some of the sea creatures can actually uh, swim around this, um, this wonderful painting or this wonderful artistic work <laughs> which is the background of this particular toy and there is also a button here and once you push it it would most likely put some pressure on some of those uh, floating features and you will have a chance to actually shoot them in this <laughs> basketball like net okay so I think it's pretty awesome to have this uh, in your toy okay so you push it around and it have some water here, uh, it, it would most likely, like I said, uh, you know, stir up this water and then make all those floating signatures move around everywhere like crazy. And most of them will eventually end up in this net. Uh, okay, so it could actually be a game, and the most, um, the, the one who gets most of the fishes in this net is obviously the winner of a game should you decide to use it as a game or as a contest <laughs> and this is pretty awesome now aside from that aside from playing this most unusual basketball game because it's under the sea <laughs> you can actually use this particular toy as an organizer so here you can put all your ball pens your pencils and all of your wonderful writing materials and so neatly tucked in this particular <laughs> pencil holder and then over at the side it looks like some you know some coral coral thingy under the sea uh, plants and then um, there is a slot here where you can put some of the smaller items like uh, clips or those uh, uh, paper wires <laughs> or even memo pads the, the Stick-ons and stickers or everything. <laughs> Especially with your kids, you seem to have a lot of accessories, a lot of school supplies. Uh, erasers are one of them. I used to collect a lot of erasers, especially those which have the the content or the image of those famous cartoon characters. <laughs> and especially those erasers which smell so good. I simply don't have the heart to actually to erase it because that would simply I would, uh, in the end, just end up collecting all of them and then put them on display. Uh, the, the, those sweet smelling erasers. Okay, 
Okay, so if uh, by the way, by any chance you own a collection of uh, sweet smelling and those beautiful erasers, you can actually organize them and put them here in this um, young organizer from Jollibee from way back then. I'm very positive this is probably 10 years ago. This is pretty awesome. And then as you can see, there are some slots here. So if by any chance you happen to complete uh, the other, the rest of uh, those Jollibee toys in this set, you would most uh, probably come up with a, a bigger uh, school organizer. Like for example, this one, this twirly toy, you can actually be bolded in just like all this <laughs> You can put them all together so that you basically have now have two, uh, two organizers. Which are more spacious, you can put as many fans, uh, you know, double the dependent space, <laughs> and then two slots on each of the side for all your smaller uh, accessories and other smaller school supplies. Okay, now I must say <laughs> this is. Oh, by the way, I have to show you this because uh, uh, during breakfast I decided to go to Jollibee since I was given this Jollibee toys by Ati Edna. So uh, I got the Jollibee breakfast here. And this is how the packaging of the Jollibee breakfast joys look like. It looks like a recycled paper. <laughs> it's brown. Yeah, I, I, I realized that they are actually uh, using all these recycled uh, uh, paper to actually create all of these wonderful packagings for their breakfast meal. And uh, this is Jollibee's own way of actually contributing to help um, and help protect our environment by using recycled clothes. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I yeah, I had Lunganisa meal here. Lunganisa is very delicious. I mean, if you chance upon Jollibee during breakfast, I highly recommend having. Uh, I highly recommend that you have a Lunganisa meal because the Lunganisa are really delicious. It comes with a sunny side of egg and a wonderfully cooked fried rice. And you can either have a hot chocolate or a hot cup of coffee and it's a perfect Filipino breakfast from Jollibee. Okay, my dog is getting excited with all these descriptions of this breakfast meal. Well, anyway, I must say this is just an amazing place and so is this. <laughs> So once again guys, let's try to be thankful for every amazing grace that comes to our lives be they in the form of this young um, under the sea adventure which happens to be a toy and a uh, school organizer <laughs> at the same time. Or also be thankful for all of those uh, you know um, wonderful memories of our school experiences when we were kids. I think we had Remember all of my friends who are still innocent, who are so kind. And, and yeah, I love the way we play Mortal Mortal, uh, Hopscotch, or Rico, or um, what else do we play back like then? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to mention the memes, but uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I definitely have a lot of friends uh, in my childhood. Cisco, Erwin, uh, Henry, um, Bernadette, yeah, Bernadette, Cecilia, uh, Liselle, Liberty, um, yeah, who else? Aguilita, Victoria, um, Eduardo, Roberto, Joselito, Edgar. Oh my god, I could go on and on. Madel, uh, Catherine, Adelina, um, Lily, Smiley Bed, Sidney. I'm trying to recall my classmates when I was in the elementary. Oh my god, guys, um, uh, even if I uh, wasn't able to mention you, 
in this particular uh, blog, I still remember you in my memories and in my heart. Uh, this will be, this is a nice adventure this well. Uh, very uh, mythical. Or basically guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly thankful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast and Toy Story, and I hope to see you again with our next one. So until the next Percy's Fast and Toy Story, bye bye and see you around. Peace out. Here's Young.